I had no clue that he was sick. I had no clue I was sick. And he sat on the couch, you know, he ate my Thanksgiving dinner, and then I'm in the hospital and he freaking dies. Now, all I want to say to you people is have your checkups. Go get a doctor if you think anything suspicious and whatever. We have a life to live. We have freedom. sons slash 50 sons. You boy and daughters. You boys, you know who you are that have touched my life so deeply. I mean, I have never, I don't know, even know what the hell that's all about. Mama Farella, Mama Farella, Mama Farella. And I'm like, well, yeah, oh, sure. And okay, food, food. I, and the only, thing I, the only thing I can think about is, well, I'll feed them, you know. And, and so, so that's my shtick. Tender as a waiter and stuff like that. He goes, oh, pick up people's old dirty food, not happening. Oh, and then he tells me with that whack job, John Q. Mod, he's going to open up this bar. And then, and, and then I asked him, I said, well, who's going to bartend for you? And he said, well, mommy, what? You, I, I thought you could help me out for a couple of weeks until we get somebody broken in that we know. Oh, good idea. Yeah. So I'm working seven days a week and whatever. I put out the Sunday newspapers because we had that big lounge in the front area and stuff like that. And little by little, every one of you people came in every day. I mean, Patrick, I can look out in the crowd. Oh, I mean, I can, I can just, you know, Richard, I can look at fish. I can look at it, every one of you, and, and you all touch my, my heart so deeply. And so, all I want to say is, is Brian is the best of the best. You know, you, you, you hope.